video. See, this will be video. And I can take these guys in and show them this thing right here. And you let them get a good look at what you've been working on. Not famous. Yeah, Chuck's still working on this guitar. And uh, give y'all a little idea of what we're working on here. This is an original Gibson Les Paul Jr. Got a really nice guitar. Got the original pickup in this. Look at this. Original P90 with the ears on it. Now what he's been doing is you see this big hole right here, guys? Chuck has patched that hole in this guitar where some fool tried to put active electronics in a Gibson. Cut it all out. All this is cut They out. cut a big old hole in that guitar right so there. Look at that. I got to rework it. I'm not finished. Make sure they know that. But yeah, that's what's happening with that. Chuck, let's see the back of it. Can you flip it over? Yeah. Let's show them the back. Here's your, here's your original headstock here with all the tuners and stuff, guys. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see a Gibson serial number on it. I don't There's know if it was. It's here. probably under there somewhere. That's right here. Oh, is it in there? Right. Oh, there, it's up on there, the, there. Yeah, it is. There. Way up there. Here's your serial number. Way up there, guys. Look at that. Buried in that. Here's your serial number buried in there. Now, this guitar here has got a heritage that y'all need to know about. Chuck's still, still patching on bad places here now. Yeah. He's fixing these holes. This guy made in this guitar putting these active trying to put a active electronics in it okay he didn't, he didn't know how to take now everything apart and hey well let me just chuck uh, the, the original guy let his brother borrow it the brother kept wanting to borrow it so he let him have it when they were in their 20s okay so 70 you know the guy turned 75 he's getting ready to get die with cancer then the brother finally wants to give it back okay so, so now we so this guitar has been out of his hands for 50 years yes sir and, uh, and it come back to him with holes in it. Come back with holes in it, everything, and so. Fret dot missing. The son loves his dad, so he wanted it fixed. So his son's fixing it up for his dad and gonna fix it up for him. For his dad, right. fixing it up for his dad, yeah. Fixing it for his dad. The brother was dying. Brother's dying with cancer, so he's finally giving the guitar back. They finally gave it. Imagine that after all that time. So anyway, guys, this is a history lesson for you right here. Yeah. That's and kind of the way. Joe, do you know the year of it? Uh, I think it's a 58. A 58, we think it is. Um, I'll try to get the serial number, a real good look at the serial number guy for you guys so you can see. And uh, the old man that's going to own this when his son hands it back to him is 75 years old. He's He'll be 76 and he's going to get it for his birthday, get it back. Yeah. So uh, I don't think I could know a better story in the world. I'd love to see him pick it up. I can tell you that. I'd, lo I'd love to see this old man have his guitar in his hand. I can tell you that. that it came in two pieces. It come in two pieces. Chuck's already put the neck back in it. So yeah. It's had a neck repair, and it's had all these holes repaired in it. And we just want the old man to enjoy his guitar and play it again. So yeah. Chuck, so Chuck is doing a hell of a job for this guy, making him up a good deal, guys. And Hey, thank you for coming along with one of Spike's adventures. I'm over at Chuck's shop, and... Uh, I'm over here working on my stuff and getting ideas from him and using some of his tools because I don't have much to work with. And the uh, biggest thing is I just love this guitar and had to put my hands on it because it's just, it's the same age as me. This guitar is as old as I am. I just, I'm going to give the man my number. And if there's any chance in the world, I'd love to own this guitar one day. That's for sure. Y'all yeah. be good because I used to have a 63 SG. And uh, yeah, I'd love to own this one. So, hey, if the old man ever gives it what gives up on it, I'd love to have it, but I think his son might keep it. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. So y'all be good. And hey, have a good one.